Clean care for all, it's in your hands. Health facilities should always be places of healing. No one should get sick while seeking care. And yet, globally, healthcare associated infections are one of the most common consequences of poor quality care. They cause avoidable harm to hundreds of millions of patients worldwide every year and fan the flames of antibiotic resistance. Strong infection prevention and control is vital for protecting health, stopping the spread of drug-resistant bacteria, and preparing for and responding to outbreaks. Good hand hygiene is one of the most basic elements of infection prevention and control. Achieving universal health coverage means quality care for everyone, everywhere. And quality care is clean care. We all have a part to play in making care safe. As workers, you can do your part by ensuring you clean your hands the right way every time. Patients, next time you see a health worker, ask if they have cleaned their hands according to WHO standards. And policy makers, make sure your country has strong infection prevention and control programs and all health facilities implement the best hand hygiene practices. Clean care for all, it's in your hands. I thank you. Many thanks to you, Dr. Tedros. It is simply a great pleasure to promote together hand hygiene and infection prevention and control for all health facilities around the world. As you just say, Dr. Tedros, achieving universal health coverage means quality care for everyone, everywhere. And quality care is clean care. We invite all of you to take action towards health for all by participating in the WHO Hand Hygiene Campaign. Clean care for all, it's in your hands. We have a range of proposals to energize your hand hygiene activities now, but also throughout the year. Health for all and infection prevention and control need attention every day. First, we invite all healthcare facilities to join the 2019 WHO Global Survey on Infection Prevention and Control and Hand Hygiene by using two validated assessment tools. One of those tools is for evaluating the core components of infection prevention and control programs. The other, for a deep dive in hand hygiene activities. On a facility level, the use of these tools gives institutions a clear understanding of the strengths and weaknesses of their infection prevention and control and hand hygiene programs. And it provides concrete actions to address existing gaps. Globally, this survey provides a situational analysis on the level of progress of current IPCN hand hygiene activities around the world and will inform future efforts and resource use for IPC capacity building and improvement. Clean care for all, it's in your hands. As shown on the screen, this year, a key promotional poster for you to use everywhere is really expressing health for all with the WHO logo, as well as the WHO health for all and the save lives, clean your hands symbols together. We strongly encourage all of you to use this poster widely and promote clean hands as a sign of quality universal health coverage and respect and dignity for your patients. As every year, we do have calls for action for each of you. To healthcare workers first, champion clean care, it's in your hands. To infection prevention and control leaders, monitor infection prevention and control standards 
take action and improve practices. To help facility leaders, is your facility up to WHO infection control and hand hygiene standards? Take part in the WHO survey 2019 and take action. To ministries of health, does your country meet infection prevention and control standards? Monitor and act to achieve quality universal health coverage. And last but not least, to patients and patient advocacy groups, ask for clean care. It's your right. Ask for clean care. It's your right. It is human rights to ask for clean care. Clean health care for all. And as Dr. Tedros just said earlier, and quality care is clean care. This year, we make it easier for you to take part in sustained activity by helping you to adapt posters for your own institution. You can create your own version to print, post, and share with your friends to spread awareness for hand hygiene and infection prevention improvement by simply following the process, inserting your own photos in the poster series. Let me explain. All of you know the five moments for hand hygiene, do you? Here are the five moments plus four. Five plus four for you to participate. Take your photo and or ask your friends for help. Moment one, stand in front of a dark background. Moment two, ask a friend to take a photo in a portrait layout. Next step, insert your photo. Moment three, choose one of the templates of the PowerPoint. Moment four, insert your photo behind the text. And moment five, then simply print and share on social media. Well, then there is moment six, seven, and eight, which is share on Twitter, share on Instagram, share on Facebook, and so on and so on. And last but not least, Ask your colleagues and leaders to do the same and join the campaign. Don't forget, share also the hashtags of the campaign. Hashtag hand hygiene, hashtag infection prevention, hashtag health for all, as indicated in the bottom of the posters campaign. As you can see this year, all of you, whether you be a health worker, an IPC leader, a facility leader, a ministry of health, or representative, or a patient or patient advocacy group, you can support and promote action by inserting your photo in the poster. As an example, here is a poster figuring Dr. Benedetta Allegrenzi, Coordinator, Infection Prevention and Control Global Unit at WHO headquarters in Geneva, as a support of the action, as you can see. Here is another poster with myself on the poster. And here is another one with Dr. Tedros himself. Dr. Tedros, Director General of WHO, supporting this campaign and linking universal health score coverage, health for all, to clean care is safer care. In addition, this year, during the whole year, we propose to all of you to organize solidarity chains all over the world. Solidarity chains have already been organized for World Health Day on the 7th of April, 2019. And we propose to you to join the movement and organize or participate in additional solidarity chains between April 7 and May 5, and of course, beyond. Remember, health for all, clean care for all, it's in your hands. We provide simple instructions to help you do your solidarity chain, get organized now, and then share photos and videos of your solidarity chain through social media and send them to www.cleanhandssavelives.org Finally, and as we have been 
all doing it for the past years, we invite all of you to pledge for Clean Care for All, it's in your hands. By sending your photos and selfies made together with our colleagues, collaborators, as well as patients, relatives, and friends from all over the world. Here is the board of this year. You recognize it, you recognize our board. You know how to do it, you take the board and you sign. Please note the hashtags. Hashtag hand hygiene, hashtag health for all, hashtag infection prevention. The address to send your photo of the board and solidarity chains is indicated on the screen. We know infection prevention and control in healthcare is possible. Let's make it happen. Health for all, clean care for all, it's in your hands.